My word, you hardly leave my inn. <laughs> what can I serve you? No problem. It's ten drachs. Your room is upstairs. Hot and juicy and served with a nice frothy beer for only two drachs. Make yourself comfortable and I'll bring your meal right away. Hello, Vernon. 
I suppose you've heard about my daughter's latest prank. The Princess Carmine has decided to honour you by making you her official champion in the tourney of Kenmar. I hope you're pleased. Well, at least you seem to be pleased. The same can't be said for Karia Khand. Carmine's little whim will do nothing to promote general harmony. Don't you know that he has been wooing my daughter? Perhaps he's not the son-in-law I might have wished for, but I shall have to try to make do with him. The Duchy of Erag is a powerful province and the alliance would be precious. But my daughter seems to remain indifferent. She is quick to forget her responsibilities as princess. No, for the moment she is nowhere to be found. It's becoming a bad habit with her. Of late she has been absent far too much. I believe she is hiding something from me. Everything is complex at the moment, Verna. The orc attacks are increasing and the dragons are getting nervous. Events seem to be hurtling by and I have no control over them. That's enough of politics. We are here to joust. Do you dare choose your sovereign as an adversary? Hello, Werner. I was unaware that you were in favour with the princess. My compliments to her champion. Perhaps she's using you. <laughs> she couldn't have given a more crushing answer to the constant attention the Duke of Erag pays her. He must be furious. You're mistaken, Werner. The Duke's behaviour is not to be taken lightly. That's a compliment that merits a reward. If you do battle with me, and if you win, I shall have a little something for you. Try me and see. You're forgetting your reward, Sir Knight. Here comes the new Dragon Knight. I should be pleased if you dared challenge me, but will you dare? I can't wait to put Marak's ally to the test. But the real confrontation will be in the Cradle of the Sun. What do you want, Verna? Don't rejoice too soon, you cretin. Carmen has no interest in you. You're just a tool in her hands, a tool she's using in a quarrel with me. And a tool is quickly forgotten once it has served its purpose. Is that so? Do you know the princess? Obviously not. So why do you think she chose a nobody? Because it so happens that the nobody in question is my enemy, and therefore her best means of provoking me. What are you talking about? I have no idea of what you speak, degenerate scum.
Begins. 